how long was it before you finally got to see this video? This is a recent finding. The Pale Horse pilots, the medevac crew, they had been holding on to this video for some time. And they were trying to figure out a way to get it to the Westbrook family. And they just hadn't found it yet. They hadn't worked through whether it was appropriate or whether it would be good for the family to see it. And ultimately, they reached out to me through intermediaries. And mm -hmm. we extended that video to the Westbrook family. So you watched it for the first time when? Several months ago. Several months ago. Um, three and a half some years after the battle. Yes. And again, it was a memory that was lost. I had no idea. I never would have imagined that that was the battlefield. It allowed me to again see the light, the, the terrain, the dust, the attitude on the ground of the people. It allowed me to, to go back to that valley in a way that no investigation, no sworn statement, no picture can really convey. It, it was a powerful return to that valley and to that moment. For you, is that a, a good thing or a bad thing? As a leader, you have to disassociate what's happening on a battlefield. You just do not have time to get mired in empathy. You don't have time to get mired in emotion. It's your responsibility to stay calm, cool-headed, make decisions. It's almost like being in the zone. But when you're in that zone, you lose the ability to remember those moments. You lose the ability to remember what you feel for your fellow soldiers, what you feel for your fellow Marines, what you feel for your fellow service members. And it allowed me that, to go back to that moment. And realize what? Just to reconnect with something that was lost. It's a very, I can look at it from a doctrinal perspective. I can look at it from a very surgically sanitized perspective of what happened on the battlefield. I can look at dates, times, events, locations. But just from a personal perspective, are you glad you got a chance to see that? It was incredible. And for me, the most important thing was the Westbrook family being given the opportunity to see mm. him get off, get onto that helicopter on his own two feet. Mm. And to sit there in the helicopter and have a moment with me before he flies out. That's priceless. And the kiss was, you say it was just to buck up his spirits. It was a spontaneous gesture, and I'm sure he tried to fight me off. But I was trying to keep his spirits up. At that moment, once he was in the helicopter, you know, we had a moment, we looked at each other. He, he almost had a smile on his face. But... So that says you're not totally in the zone. And that's what I forgot.